Howdy folks, Dan Rubino here with Windows Phone Central and we're taking a look here at the at t Nokia Lumia 900 featuring the Windows Phone 7.8 update which as we reported yesterday is on Nokia's servers and you can manually install it if you so choose. I recommend against that for a few reasons. Number one, Nokia Care Suite can be finicky depending if you're running it on Windows 8 or not as drivers are uh, sometimes troublesome. The other issue, of course, is you need to flash the whole device, meaning you're going to lose your saved games and apps. And that means also some apps that you can no longer get. For instance, USA Today is Windows Phone 8 only now. So if you lose that app, you'll never get it back again. So maybe you should just wait a few days to install it through Zoom which will just bump up your current system as opposed to reflashing the whole thing. Having said that, let's dive into 7.8 and show you what's different, which actually is not very much different at all. This is a clean install of 7.8, if you believe it or not. It's outside the uh, Windows Phone Central app and, of course, the me tile right there. Uh, everything else looks exactly like this, which is kind of curious because they don't highlight the fact that you can now change the tile sizes, which, of course, you can do. So we'll make that one small or we can make it double wide. And with the release of the 7.8 update uh, SDK yesterday, developers, of course, can now make apps for this device and give you that double wide tile on various apps. Having said that, at t apparently didn't want to mess with people too much and kept things very much the same. Scrolling down, you can see uh, Internet Explorer, exactly the same, no differences there. There is no find on page with that. Even music and videos did not get a rebrand. We were kind of actually expecting that, but as you can see, it is still called Zune, not Xbox Music, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, if we get out of there and we just go down further, you can see basically this is still the same old almost 7.5 look uh, going over here once again no new apps same basic stuff you get your ESPN your games help and how to Hotmail is still called Hotmail of course it's on that on Windows Phone 8 as well but I should point out that it is not called Microsoft account when you go to set it up it is still called live which is a difference between the two operating systems Go down further here, Office is sadly the same, so you do not get the new version of Office. OneNote is still a part of it, versus Windows Phone 8, which has an updated version. It looks slightly different, and they pulled OneNote out of it as a separate app. That is not the case here. Uh, people and phone, no differences. You do not get call SMS block with this, so don't ask. Um, but there are a few changes. Let's go to settings, so we can head into theme. And go to accents and look at that you do get 20 accents plus one with the one being nokia's choice which of course is nokia blue but you do get those new color options 10 of them which is actually a nice thing so this matches now windows phone 8s and it's those little changes actually that will help your everyday experience uh, make the device feel much more different in fact here let me change it up i'll choose a color that isn't normally available we'll go to steel uh, Wi-Fi is no different, so if you're looking for that too, uh, there is no keep alive feature. So once again, don't look for that. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same here, except for lock and wallpaper. You do get Bing, so you have picture or Bing as an option, and I can show you what that looks like. So that brings you down the Bing picture of the day, which is always a beautiful photo, and you can have that right on your lock screen automatically. Since the 7.8 SDK does not bring new APIs, we do not expect developers to be able to access this for apps. Sadly, that is a Windows Phone 8 only feature and looks to remain like that, at least for the near future. Nothing else new, new there. And then that is pretty much it as all the differences we were able to find here. Uh, there we go with the new look at the tiles of course so you know the 7.8 is sort of what we were expecting and you know it is just new tile systems and a couple little uh, additions there is new firmware with this of course we don't know what that addresses but presumably it enhances certain aspects of the phone camera feels the same to me doesn't look any different uh, it still has the same benefits from the last update. And that is basically it. Look for the 7.8 update perhaps on January 31st. That is when we're expecting it, though nothing official has been mentioned yet. So look for it in the next few days. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information and let us know what you think. Take care, everybody.